Now, once you get to the end of uh, the filling out the template, then uh, you can send you can send the document. You have a couple of choices. You can send it to Adobe Acrobat and create a PDF out of it, or you can uh, send it um, to Hot Docs Filler. Uh, you can also, uh, just real quick here, um, you can take the fields off by deselecting that uh, Show Fields button there. And um, and you have a couple of other buttons up here that are, are good to know about, like our, our thumbnails off on the left here. If we don't want that, you can deselect that. Okay, so to save the document, um, we can send it to Hot Docs Filler. So if we do that, then what happens is um, here we have another window that is Hot Docs Filler. And from here, you would then um, uh, print the document, or you can save it down from that point um, as either a Hot Docs PDF document um, or you can also save it as a PDF from Filler. So Filler is kind of a an intermediate step between your your form document uh, assembly window and uh, either PDF or or a Hot Docs PDF document. So we could say life insurance application here and save that down as HPD. Uh, as an HPD, only Hot Docs Filler can open it. You wouldn't be able to open that in in um, uh, like Adobe Acrobat. Uh, so you can also save it as a, a PDF from here. And so we could say life insurance application and save. And then you see that uh, we've got, uh, we can view the PDF here, uh, but it's saved as a PDF as indicated by the uh, extension up above here. So this one you would be able to view in, in Adobe Acrobat. So let's close filler and we will, so from our form document tab, we can also send what we've done so far directly to Adobe Acrobat by clicking the send button up here. Uh, it's the button with the blue arrow. And in doing that, then instantly we get an Adobe Acrobat window with the assemble document in it. And this is the this is the um, option that I prefer. And then from there, you can see that it's kind of a temporary file there. So then you would just save it down um, to your your documents. So if I go to my documents and I say life insurance application and then click save then we've got that and then from there you can uh, print the document okay the once you're done with the assembly then you can click end um, actually we'll just you just close the window here so you when you click the X in the top right corner, then uh, you're pres prompted to uh, get the um, save your answers. And answers have been changed during this session. The current answer file is new answer file. Do you want to save these answers? So we'll click save. And then we're prompted to save our answers. And so I'm going to do that. And And then so you name the file 
uh, what you would desire your answer file to be. Usually, um, most clients of ours will name their files after the after their own clients. Um, so, like John Doe, and then you save the answer file, and then you can take that answer file with you to uh, complete a different uh, text document template or a different uh, PDF-based document template. And then if you, um, if you're cl closing the interview window like I did, then it's going to uh, ask you if you want to save a copy of the assembled document, even though we've, we already did so. Uh, so in this case, we're going to say don't save. And then that closes the assembly window. So this has been a training on assembling a form document. Uh, thank you very much.